What's up everyone, how you all doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today guys, we are back in our little Nordic Christmas village that we built over the holidays and today we're going to be building this little Nordic starter house. Now this is a fairly simple build to do, the resources are fairly easy to gather up as well. Minus the hay bales, I guess they will be a little bit awkward because you'll have to grow a fair amount of wheat to gather it up. But overall the resources are fairly survival friendly. Now, with that being said guys, let's take a little quick look around the build. As you can see, we've got this kind of main build at the back here. We've got this little sort of section that pokes out of the side down here where the door is. Um, and I think overall this one is a really cool little build. On the back of the build, down this side here, we've got some double windows at the sides. And then we've got this little section that kind of protrudes in the center. And then the back is kind of replicated from the front. But overall guys, I would say this is a pretty simple little build and I think it will look really cool in any little Nordic village. So, with that being said guys, let's go ahead and take a look what we're going to need to build this. Okay guys, so the layout for this one is very simple. We've got our red blocks which are going to be our pillars, so yeah, one block. The yellow block are our three block walls and the blue blocks are our five block walls. Now, before we go ahead and get started guys, I'm going to run all of the items that you're going to need for this one across the screen now. So be sure to pause the video if you need to, take down any of the items and the amounts. And with that being said, let's get building. Okay guys, we're going to start from the front left hand corner over here. So first of all, grab your dark oak logs and you're going to place one down on this corner. We're going to place three more behind it, leaving a three block gap between each one. From the end one here, we're going to leave a three block gap to the right and place one here. We're going to come down, leaving a three block gap. To the right, leaving a three block gap. Down, leaving a three block gap. To the left, leaving a three block gap. And then finally down, leaving a three block gap, which leaves us a five block gap between that one and the one that we started with. Now let's go ahead and raise all of these until they are four blocks high. So there's already one on the ground, so two, three, four. And we're going to do that all the way around. Okay, once you're done, go ahead and get your dark oak logs and you just want to join the tops of the pillars all together all the way around the outside edge. Okay, that's looking good. Now, on the front edge here, we're going to just break these two corner ones and make sure that the logs are face outwards like this. And we're going to do the same at the back of the build as well. Just make sure those logs are facing outwards. Now, heading back down to the front, guys, we're going to grab our stone for the moment. And for now, underneath the pillars that we just placed, these ones above here, we're going to just go ahead and put in three layers of stone for now. We will texture it a little bit later on. But for now, we're just going to go all the way around the edge. So all the way around this bit, all the way around the gap at the back, around this edge, across the side here, and then this little gap here as well. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to fill that all in with stone for now. And then we'll come back and we'll do a little bit of texturing later on. Okay guys, starting with the left hand front pillar here, we're going to place an upside down dark oak stair here. And we're going to place one on every other block going across. And then a dark oak slab in between the gaps. Now coming down the side here on the left hand side of the build. We're going to place one upside down stair above this pillar. And one on this pillar. One in the middle of the two. And then a slab in between those two gaps. Then round the back we're going to replicate what we've done at the front. So we're going to put an upside down stair on every other block all the way across. And then a slab in the gaps. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and get our dark oak logs again. And we're going to start by placing one on this corner and this corner at the front. We're going to place one on the two corners at the back. Where we've got this little bit that sticks out on the side here, we're going to place one on these two little corners. And then we're going to go ahead and on the right hand side of the build here, from this pillar here, we're going to count three blocks. So one, two, three. Place one on the fourth block. And then the same over here. One, two, three. Place one on the fourth. 
Let's just quickly break this one and this one here. And we're going to put a beam that joins all the way across like this. So it should look like it runs straight across from the inside. Now we're going to go ahead and raise all of these by three more blocks, making them four high in total. So there's one there already, two, three, four. And we're just going to do that all the way around. All right, guys. Now, before we start working on the upstairs, let's go ahead and get our doors and windows in place, first of all. So first of all, from the front here, I'm going to go ahead and make a two high door right in the center here. And above it, I'm going to place an upside down stone brick stairs. Now, you can use the cobblestone stair if you want, or the stone brick stairs. It's just to add a bit of texture in to the walls. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start breaking out some single block windows. So, for instance, here, I'm going to break a single window. And then I'm going to break the block above and below. And I'm going to put a upside down stair. Now, the upside down stair can be a stone brick or cobblestone. It's entirely up to you. Um, just go ahead and kind of mix them in in different ways, however you please. Just to kind of sort of make the texturing that we do later on look a little bit better. So just randomly put a stair at the top and the bottom. And like I said, it can be either cobblestone or stone bricks, but make sure they're random. Now, on this side here, let's do another two windows. And again, we're going to do the same for all of these windows, guys, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Down the left-hand side here, I'm going to break a window in right in the middle of every gap like this and again we're going to go ahead and make sure we place in our random um stairs and then around the back here guys let's just place another two in here let's do that and that and then that and that perfect now it's up to you guys i mean you haven't got to put windows in the same place but i'm going to put one more there and one more there on this little bit that sticks out and again we're going to do the same thing with these ones as well okay now let's go ahead and put in a solid block in the gap for our door here and then on the inside here we just want to go ahead and break out all of this grass on this one level and replace it with the flooring of your choice I'm going to go ahead and use the spruce planks, but you guys can use anything you want. Okay, once you have your flooring in at that height, be sure to go ahead and start placing your same flooring on this level here, where we have the beam running across, and we just want to fill in this one section on this side here. Okay, once you've got your second floor in place, guys, it's up to you if you want to go ahead and fill this section in here. It just depends if you want to see the um, hay bales are through the roof or not. I'm going to go ahead and just fill it in so that when we come in, we've got the same matching ceiling. Right, okay, now we've got that in place, guys. Let's get our stripped spruce logs. And we're going to go ahead and start running them around this main rectangle section here. So let's run five across this edge here, like this. Then we're going to run one, two, three, four. Three in the gap here. Four down this gap. Five across here. Three across this one, five across this one, and three across this one. Okay, and then we're going to raise all of these until they are four blocks high. Okay, so three more on top. One, two, three, and we're going to do that all the way around. Okay, let's go ahead and break out some windows. So starting at the very front of the build here, we're going to go ahead and break a two high window here and here. So there's a one block gap between them. Down the right hand side of the build, we're going to go ahead and break a one block window there and a one block window just there. At the back, we're going to do exactly the same as the front. So two, two high windows with a one block gap between them. On the right hand side here, we're going to break these two. Two going upwards like this and then two going sideways like that. Okay. And that is it for the windows on this floor. Okay, now for the roof, guys. We're going to come over to the right-hand side of the front here. Let's place a stair there and then one at the side. And then we're going to put an upside-down one here. And then we're going to step them up with a stair and an upside-down stair until we reach the center block, which is going to be the next one from here. On that center block there, let's put an upside-down stair facing outwards. On this side here, let's repeat that same pattern. Okay, so stairs, upside-down stairs, and then we're going to just step them all the way up Just like so. Now, coming down to the left-hand side here, I'm going to run the stairs across this edge. And then once we get to that pillar, we're going to place one sideways against the stair. 
Let's place another stair here. And then we're going to place an upside down stair against that pillar there so that we match up with this side. Place two stairs down here and then run these ones all the way down here. Till you get here, we're going to overhang that edge and place an upside down stair there. Now, let's go ahead and put a stair on top of these ones, followed by an upside down stair. And we're going to just basically repeat the same thing. And then we're going to put an upside down stair in the center. At the sides here, I'm going to keep these symbols. This is going to be a stair and then an upside down stair facing out. We're going to go over the peaks in just a minute. But for now, on these little smaller roofs here, we're going to leave just a little stick in that edge like that. Okay, at the back, we're going to go ahead and just repeat exactly what we've done at the front. So we're going to just step our stairs up until we reach the center. Put an upside down stair in the center here. Let's put a stair here, stair here. Upside down and then step them all the way up. And then we're just going to run our stairs all the way down this edge here until we get to the other side here. Now, for the peaks, guys, like I said, there is a few different things you can do here. So first of all, you can do what we do with a lot of our roofs, which is something like this. Okay, so that's a stair and then an upside down stair. You could put a second upside down stair on top so you get a kind of peak that looks a bit like this. You can also go ahead and add a couple of upside down stairs at this side and then two normal stairs facing outwards. So you get this kind of um, this kind of cross that sticks set out. And you can also go ahead, get rid of all of these for a second and you can do the cross a bit lower. So you could put a, upside down, a normal stair there, two upside down stairs and then normal stairs facing outwards so that you get something along these lines. Now, I think I'm going to stick with this for the front and back, but I think the side I'm going to just leave something like this. OK, so let's go ahead at the back. We're going to put a stair upside down stair here and here. Then face one stair out to each side. OK, but guys, there's so many things you can do with these Nordic roofs. So go ahead and mess around with it a little bit if you want to. Right. OK, now let's grab our dark oak slabs. And for this one, guys, we're going to do this um, a little bit different. So let's first of all just place one here right where our door is. On this pillar here, we're going to place one there and then come out by one and then break that one. Let's put one on top to make that a four block and then stick the one out of the edge like so. And then we're going to just step the rest up going one slab across and then one up like this all the way until we get to there. Let's extend this one over the side of the roof here until we overhang by one. And then again, we're going to go to the right, up one, to the right, up one, right, up one, right, up one. Just like that. Okay, nothing sort of over the top. It's just a simple little roof here. Then we're going to get our stripped spruce logs again. And we're going to place three of them in here and one on that corner. Let's do the same on this side. Two here, one here, one here. Now, before we put the roof on in here, guys, it's probably a good idea to put a torch in here because it's going to be pretty dark. So make sure you remember to put a torch in here or down here or something just to lighten it up before you put anything else in here. And like I said to you before, these three by three uh, spruce planks here, they can be left out if you want to see the roof slope from the inside. Right, okay. Now we're going to get our stripped spruce logs again. And where we have this little triangle here, we're going to just cover that space. So let's go five across the gap, three across and then one at the very top. Let's do the same at the very back. So five across, three across, and one. And then this little one at the side here is going to be three and then one. Just like that, nice and easy. Right, now for the roof in here, because we're going to have the hay bales, it's going to be a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to put an upside down stair here facing to the side. So it's going to run down that way. Upside down stair here upside down stair here and an upside down stair here now you can use the spruce um, stairs if you want i'm going to use the dark oak but you can use any ones that you want and then go ahead and get yourself your matching planks so i'm going to get the dark oak planks and then we're going to just go ahead and place one there bring the planks all the way across and i'm going to actually just leave a gap there for the moment so i can fill this in properly let's go ahead put the upside down stairs here all the way over to here we're gonna put one more and then we want to join it onto this little corner here okay 
And then we're going to grab our slabs. So let me just get our slabs. There we go. And we're going to put a slab just underneath in that gap there. So we can do the same in this little corner here, okay? And this is just for where the little 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 gap is for this wall here. Let's go ahead and do the same here. We're going to do this all the way down. One more and then twist and twist. On top, place two planks in that section there. Then we can just extend our stairs from here all the way across to the back. Okay, now all we want to do is extend these two stairs here all the way across to the other side from the inside and then fill this gap here with two planks. So let's go ahead and just get that in place quickly. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get all of our windows in. So just everywhere you've got your gap, guys, be sure to go around and put your windows all in place. Make sure you don't miss any. It's very easy to go past and miss some. So go around carefully and make sure you get them all in place properly. Once your windows are all in place, let's go ahead and place a door on the front. So let's go in from the inside and we're going to put a door just there. Okay, now before we move any further with the roof and stuff, let's go ahead and do a bit of the texturing. Now the texturing for this build, I've been doing a little bit different for the Nordic ones. What I've been doing is I've been keeping mostly cobblestone at the bottoms, but making it look a little bit rough and not perfect. Okay, so kind of something like this all the way around the edge. So just go around the bottom edge and just kind of try and make it feel a bit roughed up with cobblestone, making it fairly uneven. But keep it more to the bottom half than anything. So something kind of like this, guys, okay? Just kind of roughly dotted around the bottom. And then just go ahead and just throw in a few of your polished andesite here and there. And maybe one or two of the normal stone bricks as well. The idea here is to just make sure you've got a variety of textures in the wall. Something kind of like this. Okay, so we have something a bit like this now, guys. As you can see, the cobblestone is kind of blended in more to the bottom. Then we've added a couple of stone bricks, and the stone bricks kind of vary up the wall. More so towards the bottom, but we do have the odd one or two that are higher up on the wall as well, okay? So just go around and texture up your wall so you get something that looks a bit like this. And as you can see, it really does make the build stand out much nicer. Okay guys, now before we move any further, I do apologize. We did place this roof in the slightly wrong place, okay? So this edge that comes across here should not be above. It should be on the top half of that um, log there. I just realized, I do apologize guys. So if we could just break these out of the way again. And from the top half here, we're gonna go ahead and place our dark oak slabs across here. Overhang one each side. One to the side here and then just step them all the way up. Just like this. Break this first strip spruce log and the one at the top. Do the same on this side. And then we're just going to extend that one over. Across one, up one, across one, up one. All the way until we get to here. Now I do apologize for that guys. I'll try and make sure that I put an edit in the video. Now, we're going to go ahead over this side here, and we're going to start putting in our roof. Now, for the roof here, guys, we're going to go something like this. So let's run our um, hay bales across like this, and we'll do a second row. Then we're going to go ahead and place a row across here, and then a row against them ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to just break some and place them at different angles. Okay, guys, this is kind of the effect you're going for, okay? So you want most of your blocks all facing different directions, okay? Something kind of like that. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same up here. But first of all, we're going to go ahead and just get our hay blocks all in place. First of all, before we mix them up. Okay, guys, once you get to this point, you want to skip this centerpiece at the very top here and then come around the other side. And we're going to do the same thing. So first of all, run a row all the way across the top here. Then we're going to run a row around this one, making sure you bring it around this edge here. Now, it doesn't particularly matter which direction you face them at this point. And then keep bringing them all the way around like this. Let's do the same on this side.
just like so. And now we're going to go ahead, guys, and just completely mix them all up into all different directions, okay? So go ahead, just place some like this, place some standing up, some against the back, some standing up, and just mix it up so that it looks fairly random. All right, guys, once you've got all of your hay bales in place, you should have something that looks a bit like this, okay? So it should be a bit randomized. Now, on the very top of the center here, we're just going to place some stairs that are facing backwards into the hay there. On this side here, we're going to just bring them all the way across until we are in line with that one. Okay, so right there, we're going to stop there. Let's do the same on this side. Right there, and then we're going to place a full block in the center there. Right, okay, that is the roof all in place, and that is looking pretty good. Now, one other thing you can do with the walls here, guys, because they look a little bit clean, is you can go ahead and put in some spruce wood planks like this. Go ahead and just add a few of them around just to add a little bit of texture to the walls. You haven't got to add, add very many. I would say just a few sort of dotted around, really, more than anything. Something kind of like this. Okay, guys, and there we go. So we've got something sort of like this, just a few textures around just to kind of bring out the style of everything. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to place some slabs underneath these windows here. These are the dark oak slabs. I'm going to place one underneath that one, one underneath that one, one under these two. Under these double windows here, I'm going to put two, one under that one, and two under this one, okay? So just all of the upper windows on the upper floor, go ahead and do that with all of them. Now you can go ahead and use the dark oak doors if you want here on the trap doors. You can use the spruce trap doors or you can use the oak trap doors here. And go ahead and just put in some little kind of window shutters. Something along these lines, okay? Now I'm only going to do this on the upper floor. I'm not going to do this on the lower ground. Um, if you were to do it on the lower ground, I would suggest using a darker trap door like the spruce trap door. Something like that. So I mean we can go ahead and just leave those down there. I think that would be alright. Then we're going to go ahead and continue all the way around. I'm only going to put one shutter on one side for each window, like this. These windows, because they're too wide, we're going to put one at each side like this. And then, of course, this one here, we're going to put just a single shutter on that side. And why not? Let's go ahead and put in a few shutters down this one. And down here. There we go. Okay, guys, let's get in some of the final details. So let's start by getting our dark oak logs, and we're going to start placing it in front of these pillars, okay? Now, this pillar has two sides here, so we're going to place it on the two sides, the same as this corner here. Then we're going to place one in front of this one, this one, this one, and this one. And just keep working your way all the way around the build. And then once you're done... You're going to go ahead and get your dark oak stairs and then place that on top facing in towards the pillar. Now we're going to go ahead and get in the chimney which is going to be just at the back here where this little bit that protrudes out the side here. We're going to put it in this corner here. So we're going to start by putting in some stone bricks. So let's put one in that corner. We're going to bring it all the way up here. Break that one there. Bring it all the way up. Break this roof block here. Then we're going to place one here like so. Now, let's place a stair, a stone brick stair there, then a full block on this one, then another full block here, and yeah, I think we'll go one more full block, and then we're going to put a campfire on top. Let's put a stair facing out that way on top of that, and then you can put some slabs around the fireplace. Now, because the stair is only a single block, the smoke particles will go through it as well so it kind of gives it a bit of a nice look if you don't like it on top you can always go ahead and just break it off guys it doesn't matter it's entirely up to you what you guys want to do with it right okay so let's go ahead and right at the very bottom here we're going to go one two one two i know we're covering that window guys but it's no big deal and then we're going to place a stair in the corner here facing into that block and one into that block then place a full block here and then two slabs like so and then of course a stair on top of these two okay and there's the chimney shape in place now let's just go ahead and just make it look a little bit rougher so let's put in some cracked stone bricks on a few of them 
something maybe like that and then maybe just an odd cobblestone block as well maybe one there one there uh, maybe for this one here something kind of like that um, and maybe even another broken one there yeah I think that looks pretty good something kind of along those lines All right, guys. Now, other than that, the only other thing left to do really is to just decorate the area a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead, first of all, and make a little bit of a path. Let's make a little bit of a path from the corner here. Something kind of like this. And then we're going to bring it over and we're just going to make a random little curly kind of path. Okay, guys. Once you've got yourself a path in, make sure you go ahead and put something like some cool dirt in there, just to make it look a little bit rougher and kind of suit the area a little bit better. And then maybe just add in a few little fences to the areas. Maybe something like this, something here, something here, maybe, or maybe more like there, maybe. Something along those kind of lines. And then you can also go ahead and put in a few spruce leaves. I like to do things like this. So down the side here, maybe on the top half here, we're going to put some trapdoors on the stone here on the top half of it. And then maybe run some of these across. Bring one down like that. Break those ones. Bring that one down there. Maybe it drops in like this. Curve it around here a little bit. Maybe even be a little bit of a bush kind of going around. Something along those lines. Just make it look a little bit rougher. Just adds a bit of character to the house. And I think it looks really cool. You ain't got to use the spruce leaves. You can use different leaves if you want to. And now and again, you can also go underneath and just put a little fence. Just to make it look like it's got some kind of branch under there connected. Um, and I think that looks pretty good. And then, of course, once you're done, guys, don't forget to go ahead and maybe just add in a few little barrels or note blocks there just for like a little bit of... Um, just to make it look like it's in use. You know, add a bit of character to the build something maybe like that maybe a couple of them over here yeah something like that should look pretty good maybe use a few ferns on the pathway maybe around the edges here something a bit like that bone mill is good but in in the, the nordic sort of areas i try not to use too many flowers i try to keep if anything it more green but not too many flowers about because flowers I think in the Nordic areas, they just don't feel right. All right, guys. And of course, don't forget to put yourself in one or two little flower pots and then stick yourself maybe a, um, a fern or a dead bush um, or some flowers in there if you want to. But I try to keep flowers kind of minimal with these little Nordic builds. I just uh, something don't feel right with flowers in the Nordic builds. Alright guys, and there you have it, a nice simple little Nordic starter house for Minecraft and I think this is a really cool little house, the resources are fairly simple to gather up overall um, and it looks really nice. Now I've gone ahead and I've left the interior empty for you guys to do what you want with. If you would like to see me do some kind of interior in here, please let me know in the comments and if enough of you guys want to see it, I will do it. But I normally concentrate more so on doing a lot of builds. Um, the interiors, it kind of gets repetitive after you do it for a while. So I try not to do too many of the interiors. Um, and I, I know that you guys often like to do your own interiors as well. So I like to leave it for everyone to kind of do their own thing with. But if you want to see more inter interiors in the future, be sure to let me know in the comments, guys. Anyway, like I said, guys, that just about brings us to the end of the tutorial. So as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.